Daki's Tilt Gimon skill in Tangling Obi is, in my opinion, the most interesting tool Daki has to work with. It fills so many roles in the character's game plan that if you know how to use it correctly, it can be really, really scary. As a single special move, it can be used for resets, setups, pressure, and even zoning. So, you can use it at the end of a combo, as a sort of combo and a reset situation, because the opponent will be restored and they land on it, and they have two things they can do. They can either get hit by it, or block. He tries to sidestep, you even saw the beginning of the sidestep animation, but he still gets caught. So he has to block it, or get hit if he so chooses to. So, now with such a simple choice on our hands, Daki actually has a really cool thing called an option select. It's something that exists in all games, but when she goes to this situation, she can basically do the same input, and if the opponent gets hit by the tilt special, uh, the tilt demon skill, she'll get a full blue combo, and if the opponent blocks it, she'll get to go for a practically guaranteed grab. So it's a win-win for her whenever she sets up this situation, and win-wins is something we love. So after we end a combo with the tilt demon skill, if the opponent gets hit by it, you're just dashing up, and you get your combo. It'll be a juicy combo, make sure you practice what kind of combo you'd like to do in this situation. Max out your damage or your meter rebuild afterwards because if you get a blue combo you want to make the most of it. But if the opponent blocks it, you can still do the same dash in, but you're just going to do dash in and dash in into a block into a grab. And you just want to do the block a little bit late, you don't want to be like dashing it instantly into a grab, you want it to do a little bit of a decent amount of the dash. And it should look like this. As you can see, the grab hit practically right after the Tilt Demon skill stopped hitting the opponent, so that was practically unavoidable. And as you can see, it took that very simple combo to a half health combo. So where the OS comes into this... So where the OS comes into this, option select for those who don't know, is I can do that exact same input, and if the opponent gets hit, it'll teleport me into the air and I'll get the blue combo, and if the opponent doesn't get hit, well, I don't get launched into the air, and I get my guard into my grab. So you can do the exact same thing, you don't have to react to where the opponent gets hit or blocks, you can just do the same input and it'll always work. It's it's really, really cool. See, as you can see there, you can't see my inputs, unfortunately, there's no way of showing them on the screen. But I, guard and went, I guarded and went for a grab there, but by the time you would guard and go for a grab, the character kind of does that thing that the way they jump up to the opponent. You can see like when I'm dashing, she does that dash up, and that's at the point where I would have gone for my grab. See, I'm guarding now, but the guard didn't come out because she's in the air, and you don't get guards and grabs when you're in the air. So you get the best option um, no matter what happens to the opponent, which is really, really powerful. You don't have to bother reacting and the laggy connection. You're either going to get your grab, or you're going to get your big juicy combo. And I think that is really, really powerful. Now, Ducky already has really strong offense, with her first two attacks being really safe. She can stagger them, and she's got this plus on block, Obi Assault, which is so plus it is a true block string into her regular attacks over and over again. She's already got really good offense, but if your opponent is particularly defensive, you can actually use your Entangling Obi as a just way of being egregiously plus on block. It's, it's ridiculously plus. Sometimes you don't need it, but if you really want to rub it in your opponent's face that they're being a little bit too patient, you can certainly use this. So you're doing some attack strings into this. You can even use her other demon skill to cancel into it, and that is going to lead to an instant guard break. So the opponent has to start doing things if you start doing sequences like this, because if you can just cash out and just get guaranteed guard breaks relatively quickly, um, they're gonna have to start doing some silly stuff to try and get out of it. So even after you just do like a few hits into your Obi Assault, a few more hits into your Obi Assault, and then you start doing some hits and go into this, the opponent's guard is already broken there. So you only need to do like two loops of your Obi Assault, and then go into that ridiculously plus on block thing, and they're, <laughs> they're just gonna melt. It does a lot of guard damage, it's ridiculously plus. And if you go in for two dashes cheekily, their guard's just gone. So it's very good in pressure as well, so if the opponent's already blocking. 
And it's also good as just a general zoning tool, because if the opponent is tr standing still trying to do something, maybe they're building meter from full screen, or maybe they're Yahaba and they can throw rocks too from full screen, or they're trying to throw a support before they come inwards. Like this, they're standing from afar, bringing out their support, and then dashing inwards. You can just catch them with this, and you don't even need to think at all. You can always just go for your Tilt Demon skill into a dash in, and it works either way. Either it'll just be, you know, a free way to dash in and do a bunch of guard damage, or it'll lead to a combo. You can, it's, it's super, super simple. And what's even cooler is if the opponent does dodge it, because it is definitely dodgeable. If the opponent's in neutral, they can actually just walk away from it. Let me control two controllers at once here. So as you can see, Sabi Dodge can just walk right past it, and then it leaves the sashes kind of on the floor like Rokodaki's trap. But this, I love even more, because then Daki can run in and step on top of this and like just stay here. And this stays here for a really long time. So if you're low on meter or anything, you can throw this out. It'll either hit the opponent, you get a full combo, get to build back all of your meter or stuff, or it'll either not hit the opponent, and then you can run and stand in it. And what's the opponent gonna do? What you gonna do when I'm standing here? Huh? I can build back all my meter. Sabido is not gonna run at me, because as you can see, that lasted there for like nearly a solid minute. It lasts for a, such a long time. Let's get it out again. So, um, you know, I dash in and I'm standing inside it. What's Abido gonna do, huh? He's not gonna run at me. Because unlike Rokodaki's, Daki gets a blue combo that is super easy to hit confirm. Like, you literally can't not get a combo from this. It makes it so easy to make sure you get your damage. And if they block it, it's super plus as well. So she can just stand there. What's the opponent gonna do? If they don't have projectiles, they, they just watch you? It, like, it stays on hit as well, so even if she gets hit out of it, it's still sitting there on the screen and they're gonna get hit. <laughs> it's crazy powerful and I love using it so much. I just wish it didn't cost you a uh, demon skill because that means when I use it too much I can't break out of any combos. So yeah, this is a move I highly recommend you try out, see where you like to use it. It can be used as a super powerful reset tool that'll either leave you very advantage in the opponent's face where you can go for a grab, It'll, or it'll leave you with a blue combo, or the opponent will somehow dodge it and it'll leave you with this puddle of sashes that you can just stand in and build all your meter back, and if the opponent dare come near you, they're either going to be very minus and you're very advantageous on block, or they're just going to get hit and you get a blue combo. It is an amazing special move, and the best part about it is like, even if you leave the puddle on the screen and you get hit, it's still there, it's still going to hit the opponent. It is a lifesaver. I love me some sashes with eyes and lipstick. That they're, they're, <laughs> they're my best friend in this game. They've saved me so many matches. But yeah, that was just a mini guide for a Tilt Demon skill. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!